to Mela. Let us do accounting paper one. It is for this year from the June exam. And this was the June exam from Gauteng. Let us check question one. We are required. So this is all about the statement of comprehensive income or the income statement in the notes and the statement of financial position. For 65 marks, you need to complete this in 52 minutes. And it starts with company concepts. You need to choose a description from column B that matches a term or concept in column A. Write only the letter A to D next to the question number. That will be 1.1 to 1.4 in the answer book. This is how your answer book looks like. So 1.1, if you think it's A, you just write A next to it. Let's see. The first term or concept is a director. Remember, a director is appointed by the shareholders to run the company. I've just, a post, uh, I've just posted a, a video on this. It is on Companies Act. So a director will be elected by members of the board responsible for running the business and implementing the policies, all right? International Financial Reporting Standard, that is IFRAS. These are simply accounting rules and laws that all accountants need to follow and abide to as to how assets, income, liabilities, expenses need to be recognized. Um, and that will be D, guidelines for the preparation of financial statements to ensure consistency, comparability, uh, and what else? Consistently, comparability. Um, how do I forget these God principles? But it's just, it's just the policy or guidelines or laws that are just there to ensure that we can be able to compare financial statements of companies prepared in South Africa to financial statements of companies um, that are operating in China, USA. Well, not USA, because USA, I think it's using US GAP because it's always out. Um, but London and the UK, I think they do use IFRS as well. And to ensure that you can't always be jumping around different policies. So that will be T. Let me just put it that way. Independent auditor, they come to check the financial statements of the company, obtain audit evidence, and express an opinion. So that will be A. A shareholder is a person that buys shares. It can be a person, a company that buys shares in a company. So they own the company. So that will be B. That's it. Just like that. All right. Um, and so 1.1 will be C, 1.2 will be D, and 1.1.3 will be A, and the last one will be B. Let me just make sure that is correct. The last one is B, second last is A, is that correct? And C, D, let's see. C and D. Yeah, that's what it is. Okay. Um, so this is part of question one. 1.1 1. 1 will be required to prepare the fixed asset note and then the statement of comprehensive income, i.e. the income statement for the year ended 29th of February 2024. Certain amounts have been entered in the income statement. We need to complete the ordinary share capital note, complete the equity and liability section of the statement of financial position. Guys, I hope when you, as I'm reading these questions, I'm already imagining the statements. And that's how good you need to be by now. For instance, the fixed asset note, I'm just imagining it. So I know that I might have equipment and vehicles, and then the first row will be carrying value at the beginning of the year, and then I'm going to have cost, accumulated depreciation, and then I'm going to have movements. Under movements, I have three things. Additions that caused, 
I have disposals at carrying value. I have depreciation. And the bottom part is the same as the top part. So I'll have carrying value at the end of the year, cost, accumulated depreciation. And I'm already thinking of how cost will be affected and how accumulated depreciation will be affected. Obviously, the income statement, I'm thinking right there at the top, it's sales, we minus cost of sales. And then from sales, we minus debtors allowances if it's there, any returns of goods, blah, 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 blah. But I won't go through that. Your ordinary share capital mode, I'm thinking up there, we have ordinary, we have authorized shares, number of authorized shares issued, shares issued at the beginning, shares issued, issued, bought back at EPS, average price per share. Remember that it can't be at buyback price. The loss needs to go to retain income. And when they talk about the equity and liability section of the statement of financial position, under equity, we have shoulders equity. Under shoulders equity, there are only two things there. It's ordinary share capital. So we're going to use 1.1, 1.2.3, whatever we got there as a total, and we have retained income. And then for... um. For liabilities that are divided into non-current and current, we always start with um we always start with the longest, which is non-current. We have loan and mortgage loan there. That's it. And then under current, we've got trade and other payables, we've got bank overdraft if we have any. Sometimes they show shareholders for dividends separately as well as source income tax separately. That's it. That's it, guys. That's it. So I'm already imagining what's in there and I haven't even checked the answer book. Um, let me just give you a glimpse of watching what is to come. I hope you, you know what to do here. Um, if you don't know, please check my videos on adjustments and I've prepared a couple of questions where I was predicting what was about to come in the June exam. So I have... A couple is question one up to question six, where I prepared mock June exams for 2024. I was predicting this, and now it's here. This is it. All right, guys, uh, please don't forget to share. Let others know about this channel. Thank you for watching. Like, share, comment, and let everybody know about this cool channel. Thank you. Hotel.